All right, guys, so here is the infamous psoas muscle. You have the iliopsoas down through here. You also have the psoas minor and major. It's kind of hard to tell on here, but they're kind of just all one of this thick band that runs through here. So that psoas muscle attaches, as you can see, from the lower portion of the back, wraps through towards the front into the hip flexors. So what happens is sometimes this muscle gets tight and it pulls tension downwards towards the hips, and that puts extra tension on the lower back causing to have some back stiffness or restriction, tightness, pain, um, or you'll get where the hip flexors are tight and that psoas muscle is pulling kind of upward where you'll get tightness in throughout the hip flexor area. So working on, say, if you have a low back problem, making sure you hit this psoas muscle might be the final piece to the puzzle when it comes to relieving your client's back pain because sometimes you can work through the back muscles, but it's just not the final step. And sometimes this muscle is actually the final step where you release it and that client actually feels a greater... Um, release and actually feels the pain kind of dissipate. Or you, what you'll get is the, t the hip flexors will be very tight through here. And so I'll work on the hip flexor area and then I'll also hit the psoas muscle. So either way, it's gonna give a little extra slack. So if it's the back and you work on it, you're gonna get a little extra slack through here. It's gonna take pressure off of the vertebrae, helping the low back pain. Or vice versa, you work on the hips and that takes and gives back slack and takes pressure off the hips and the hips start feeling better. So I just wanna to talk to you guys today about why I think that that's important to make sure you're always hitting it. And I always make videos and I always talk about it, but it's a, such an important muscle and a lot of people don't even know about it. Athletes don't know about it. So it's just very important as a therapist, as a chiropractor, as a physical therapist, that if your client's not getting the full results and one of these two issues um, is what your client's presenting with, I think it'd be very important for you guys to make sure you start learning a little bit more about the psoas, maybe how to do some certain releases and give your clients the best possible, possible result um, for when they come in to get taken care of.